everything really back to normal? I guess if me getting an A and saving the universe is considered normal. Well, maybe normal's not all it's cracked up to be. We didn't change everything. I mean, look at how tight his jeans are. He's totally gay. Oh, you piece of shit! You should have fucked me. You think you can kill people just because you're a virgin? That's the douchiest thing I've ever heard. Sander, I want my fish sex. Hey, I stopped wearing Ed Hardy junior year. I'm sorry that you're all too busy playing Sims, Grizzly Lake, to notice. Christian Andrzej is the same shit. Really? Whatever, you're all just gossip girls with Corolla. I take the bus. And like wearing a movie mask is uh, so original. Read a book. It's called Post Iron. You know, Sander, I used to think you were just some middle class chump with no game, but those pity points ran out. Oh, pity me from the wrist slitting herbivore over here. Ah! Oh. Captain Davis doesn't love me. Please kill me, dude. You are pathetic. All of your grizzly lake friends are pathetic! Except me. And I'm all right, God, why wasn't I born someplace cool like Orlando? God, you're a dick. It breaks my spirit to see that Bros has wasted on someone like you. <laughs> you're about to be spanked by the power of Swayze. All Roadhouse had were his fist. And under siege, Steven Seagal was a master chef. Your fighting style is so obnoxious. Seagal, ain't on deadly ground, impenetrable. yourself. Just another dead teenager in Grizzly Lake. I think he'll be the last. <sighs> Once upon a time, the planet didn't burst into flames. Everybody didn't die and life kept on, even though Sander thought that he was the only one who mattered.
that every one of us was a prince. A princess. A child. A grown up. Someone cool. If you and Verge can't get home in a reasonable hour, there's no Twitter for a month. Oh, that's so unfair. You're gonna let your daughter ground you like that? Yeah, good luck with that. Sanders saw no future for us because he lived in the past. So his experiment was to end time itself. But we now know the greatest experiment isn't traveling through time or making bombs. The only way to change the past is to change the present. So Sander was wrong. Even if Grizzly Lake is lame, it's just a start. A beginning, not an end. And, and I can't think to this song. We're live in Grizzly Lake, where what appears to be a UFO is descending on a suburban community. I'm a spokesman for the race alien to your planet Earth. First, we assimilated Canada, and I took the exact form of a Canadian. I am part of a vegetable species. Yeah. You stupid humans eat our sons and daughters because you have no self-confidence. It's just high school. It's not the end of the world.